Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the God Lex. As you can see, the weather isn't that good today. My plan was actually to go outside riding today, but since the weather is just that terrible, I'm going to stay indoors instead. The weather was actually pretty good when I got home, but then the wind started picking up and it started raining, so it's going to be indoors today. My training this week hasn't been that good. I've only uh, done some strength training uh, earlier this week, but I haven't been on the bike yet. So this will actually be my first ride all week. And I had hoped that it could be outside, but I'm going to grab an hour or an hour and a half on Swift and Tax Neo. Yesterday, I put down an order for a new uh, vest, a wind vest, wind vest, wind vest. After searching high and low through uh, different brands, wind, wind vests, I decided to pick up a wind vest from Comrade. I looked at the stuff from, from La Passione because they actually have a discount going. They have a section called Now or Never on the website, so if you haven't checked that out, go look, where they have some special prices on their products. But I really wanted a vest that had pockets in it. The one that I have right now has openings so you can get to the pockets in your jersey, but it's just a hassle every time. Every time I have to take out my camera, for instance, when I'm riding, it's another pocket that I have to put it through and when I'm putting it back in, it's even worse. So I wanted a vest that had pockets uh, on the back and luckily Comrade had that. So I ordered uh the version called gator i think it's called it has like these uh spades uh no not spades it has like this cool pattern on it so that was already yesterday so i'm hoping that it'll arrive tomorrow for me to uh wear for the weekend my strength training throughout uh the last month and a half probably by now has progressed really well i haven't had any um pain by doing it a couple of years ago i started well, lifting weights once again after i had my knee trouble and it immediately affected my knee but this time it hasn't so it's been very good it's been great I actually been being able to lift the weights i'm up to doing four sets of eight repetitions on the squat i do some single leg exercises where i'm up to i think the last i did was 10 repetitions of 65 kilos per leg and uh, I'm up to 70 kilos on the squat so it won't be long till I'll drop the amount of repetitions to a low count and then up the weight instead but more on that later or in the video the only bad thing about lifting weights is actually the fact that it hurts for days I also do some uh, specific exercises for my knee that I've gotten from my physiotherapist and they just hurt. They are training muscles that I normally don't use and I can feel it up to two or three days after. But I only do that once a week. I do my strength training twice a week. So one session I do those exercises as well as the squats, the deadlifts and all that. And then I have another session later in the week where I'm not doing the resistance band training that I need for my knee, but then doing some other stuff instead. My take on strength training is that I have to focus on my legs because that's the primary reason why I'm even doing this, is for helping my sprint. It'll probably also help my overall feeling on the bike, uh, the overall power in my FTP and stuff like that. But mainly it's because of the sprint, it's the higher output that the extra uh, strength in my legs is supposed to, to bring out. But I'm not focusing solely on my legs. It has the main priority, but I'm also thinking about my core. I'm not overly focused on my core because I know that doing squats and deadlifts and other um, exercises where you're actually using free weights, you'll get the benefits from um, for the core as well. Try doing a squat without having your core uh, working. You can't. So as soon as you put on a barbell on your uh, your back, your your core is activated. So I'm not doing planks for eight minutes and I'm not doing uh, sit-ups and I'm not doing all that other stuff. I'm doing some simple stuff. I'm doing a plank uh, for a minute or so. I'm doing some 
some other core um, exercises, but I'm not heavily focused on the core. And actually, I have a focus on getting uh, the entire body worked. So I'm also doing something for my chest. I'm doing something for my arms. I'm doing something for my shoulders and all that. Because I think we've all seen the kind of person in, in the gym uh, that only trains his upper body. And then he has like the skinniest legs you'll ever see. And coming off of cycling, you really notice uh, the way people's legs are. At least I do. I have pretty big calves, I have pretty big, le big legs. So it's important for me that my upper body also has some symmetry to my lower uh, body. It'll never be as extreme, but anything that I can do to just even out the stuff is good for me, I think. Uh, I don't want to look like I'm only exercising my legs. So as the wind continues to be a factor outside, I think it's time that I'm getting in some clothes and jumping on the bike now. I can't wait to actually have a house where I can have the trainer shit up permanently because it just takes so long taking it out of the closet, setting it up, having the bike mounted and the Garmin and all that. So can't really wait to have that house and have it set up uh, permanently. Like it's a Kit it up, ready to get on the bike. Just need to pick up the Garmin from inside the living room. And uh, got it right here. So let's get on the bike. the end of the ride I ended up doing an hour and five minutes I think it was just basically handling the tax in the follow swift kind of mode so I did three sprints I did like a two and a half minute effort and then a five minute effort in the end so good training all in all now it's time to relax a bit and then uh, edit this vlog so thanks for watching once again make sure to subscribe to the channel watch the other videos and until next time bye